Hello and welcome back to the vlog. I have not been in the sun in a while. Just had a hurricane come through, so it has been raining for so long. And then I went a state north of us where it was also raining and the hurricane hit. So looking very pale, but I just got home, like I said, from a trip. I'm wanting to start some weekly vlogs. Today's just a chill day for me. I traveled this morning, got home, and now I have been unpacking. So I thought I would start the vlog now i just kind of grabbed my stuff out of the car and started unpacking i've already unpacked my big duffel bag and now i just have some small things to unpack so that's kind of what i'm doing today this part of the vlog might not be the most exciting it's just kind of organizing and stuff like that but hopefully i have some more exciting things to film later this week i'm going to the tate mccray concert and i'm so excited so i'll definitely try and vlog that but i thought we would just start with today so this is what i'm working on now just doing some unpacking and I'll do a little time lapse. Okay, I just took the dogs outside and I was sweating profusely. So I came inside and changed. Now I'm going to fold some laundry. My favorite way to fold laundry and the way I get it done the fastest is if I take it all, put it on my bed, fold it and put it away right here while I'm watching something. So I think I'm gonna pull up some YouTube. Let me show you how much laundry I have to do. So this is all the laundry I need to fold. I started my laundry on Tuesday last week and then we ended up like I started I had a lot of laundry to do so I started my first on Tuesday and then we ended up leaving Wednesday we were supposed to leave Thursday to go me and my mom to go on our trip but because of the hurricane we had to leave a little bit earlier my husband helped me and just put it in my laundry basket for me so that way I could fold and organize everything when I got home because I would have liked to have that done but it's okay, I'm home now. But now I just have all this laundry to put away. So probably just gonna do a little time lapse. I'm just gonna sit on my bed, watch some YouTube, and then put away this laundry. putting the laundry away i've now had a new cat join me but i'm just watching some podcasts and i forgot that i have this pura device that i haven't set up yet i bought this for upstairs we have one for downstairs and this one was on clearance i posted about it on tiktok but the first time i bought a pura i got it when i was in charleston last april so almost a year and a half ago and i found a pura device just like this like the whole set with two refills Maybe it's one refill. I can't remember. Regardless, and it was $44 for the whole thing. And normally just the Pure device is at least that, if not more. I think it's more. I've been wanting another one for upstairs because I love mine. I only really use it during the summer. I need to get some more winter and fall scents. Then I found this one and it is by Studio McGee. I found it because I was trying to find a scent similar to the Studio McGee Santal Ginger Candle for my Pura. And they have a Santal vanilla. So I figured it would probably be something I love because I love Santal and I love vanilla. So I thought I would go ahead and set it up. So my camera is sitting on my water bottle, which is sitting on a box on my bed. So this might fall. Okay, so it does come with two. It comes with Santal vanilla and white bergamot. I think I'm going to put one of each scent up and downstairs because I'm ready for some fall scents. I usually do the Capri Blue all throughout the summer and spring too so i think i'm gonna do the santal vanilla for up here so when i burn our santal ginger candle downstairs we get that smell of santal up here as well i actually need to plug my other device in i unplug it when i'm not home just when i'm on vacation or when i'm not here let's get this set up these guys are so happy that i am home and have literally not left my side isn't that right? This is Yosef and this is Cranberry. They are brothers and this is Miller. I think I've shown them on the vlog before. I honestly don't remember. I need to pull out my little light that I normally vlog with, but I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. The two other things I want to do on my list today, well actually I have more on my list, but two of the things I want to do is clean my bathroom because my bathroom is an absolute mess. And then I also 
want to work a little bit more on the kitchen today. The kitchen, not renovation, but changes that we're doing. DIY is a whole other video, so I'm not gonna vlog that, but I think I might clean up a little bit in here. The kitchen's pretty clean. I just have a couple extra things I could put away. Clean the kitchen, go upstairs, clean my bathroom, and then come and work on the kitchen. making my protein shake and that's pretty much all I've done today. That's a lie. I actually have edited a video but I woke up with the worst cramps ever. I went off birth control a month ago yesterday not because I'm trying to get pregnant. Me and my husband still as of right now do not want kids. I don't know. I just I've been wanting to get off birth control for like a year now. I always said I would get off of it in May because I liked being able to control my periods for my trips and stuff and May was my last like big trip and so now it's august and so i went off a month ago but i wanted to make sure my body was kind of prepared to go off sorry for this angle i know it's not great pretty much i started taking vitamins like two months i believe in advance to kind of prepare my body for the drop in is it estrogen I think it's estrogen. Yeah, I think that's right. But, and then I also making sure I'm keeping up with a good skincare routine and all that. So my sister, if you don't know, I have a twin sister and she went off birth control in 2020 shortly after she moved and she had a terrible breakout. Her hair was falling out. She lost a lot of hair. So she went through a lot and that's kind of the reason I've been scared to go off and because I have horrible cramps. And today, one month, after going off, I had my first period, real period, and the cramps have been awful. I've had so many people tell me like, oh, when I went off, like my periods got better. I wasn't craving as much. And today is the first day of my period. I just like kind of knew it was coming because I have been feeling like weird off this past week. And then my natural cycles app is what I'm using now for like contraception or whatever. It told me that I would start my period on the 17th and today's the 13th. So it's about four days off. All that to say, I am now cramping really bad and I just feel gross. It was a very rainy day today. However, I do have a lot I wanna do around the house and it didn't get done today. I'm thanking the Lord above that I did a bunch of stuff yesterday, but I really need to go to the store. I really just need to get off my ass, honestly. And I want to do some painting and walk on the treadmill for a little bit and edit some more. So that's the goal for today. We'll see if it happens. I just put on some makeup to kind of make myself feel a little bit better. I'm just going to change and then head to the store. For the angle, I need to put my little tripod thing back in here so i'm just gonna kind of make a list and brainstorm of what i need no i need chicken heavy cream bell peppers i think i'm like kind of craving goldfish right now i think that's just like a period craving so i'm gonna get some goldfish I'm making for dinner tonight is a chipotle chicken alfredo type thing and it's so good it's not really alfredo kind of is actually we'll be making that it's definitely probably not the best like period meal because it is spicy so i am craving spicy food right now i just show real quick this purse that i got or this bag i got it's an adidas bag i can't remember the exact name of it but i got it from tj maxx and it's just this cute little green backpack you can see how small it is compared to my face and it's got two pockets and then when you wear it you wear it like this and this part fits your phone and i have the iphone 15 pro max so like the biggest iphone and it fits it perfect so i am absolutely obsessed with it i love it i love having a little bit more room i'm used to my little belt bags so i like having that and having my phone right there where i can pull it out so anyway let's go to the store i might not vlog in the store because i might see people i know and i don't want to do that but i'll show you what i got and hopefully show you dinner and stuff my cramps are starting to come back because it's been about three hours since i took medicine so i'm also going to get some medicine for that so i just got home and i had this video on for the cats what do you think about it? 
I'm going to, I think, go work out, start prepping dinner, and then I think tonight I would like to do some painting and actually be productive. So that is my plan for now. I wanted to show the app I've been using for my workout. So this is the ladder app. So I do coach Maya and each week she has a full week of workouts. So I believe I was going to do this one, the lower burn in Pilates. This is Tuesdays. I did Mondays already, but I'm just gonna kind of show you. So you click on the workout and there's usually like an intro video of her kind of talking about what the workout is. Thanks to your Apple Watch. And then you can connect your Spotify. So I usually will just like right now I'm listening to the Tate set list. It jumps right in with a little intro. And then it just starts and you can kind of hear her talking about it a little bit. So I'm gonna work out and then come back. Good morning. It is Wednesday now. I don't know why the lighting is so weird right here. Something is a little bit off. I'm not sure what, but anyway i went on a walk this morning and it was 60 between 60 and 62 degrees when i was on my walk so i literally wore a jacket and it felt so good it's so funny if i was if it was the winter and it was 60 degrees i would probably be wearing like a t-shirt and shorts but it's just funny how that works but i'm gonna make my protein shake and i thought i would show it that's i usually get headaches when i'm on my period and i have one i took in a leave before my walk and so it's still just kind of lingering so i'm probably gonna make a coffee with caffeine also you can kind of see a sneak peek of what our kitchen is looking like in the background i think i'm gonna upload the part one today of our kitchen reno type thing but you can kind of see it in the background anyway so i'm gonna start with some orange juice this is just the aldi brand of their um like the trout 50 50 calories for a cup so i do about a cup that might have been more than I cut, actually. So then next, I'm just adding some frozen pineapple chunks. These are just from Walmart. I do probably about a cup of that as well. And then I add two more things. Of course, I add a protein powder. This is the Beam Vegan Protein Dole Whip Strawberry. It is so good. I am not one of those people, though, that can just drink protein powder with water. I don't like the taste enough to do that. So I just get a scoop in my protein shake. Again, sorry for the lighting. I don't know what's going on right now, but this is the blue spirulina powder I have. It is just from Amazon. I bought it on Prime Day because it's on sale, but I read that spirulina has some benefits for hair health and like hair loss. And as I shared, I think yesterday, I recently went off birth control. And when my sister went off, she experienced some hair loss and i'm just trying to do anything i can to hopefully prevent that i also take my biotin every single day and um, i try and take like omega-3s and stuff that's just supposed to be good for hair health so i really love beam protein so far it's kind of expensive i'm not gonna lie but i really enjoy it and i have the um i think it's called brown sugar oatmeal or something and it's so good so I like to do that one with apple. It's not the prettiest color in the world. It's definitely more of like a blue color in person. It looks great on camera and that's kind of gross. It tastes exactly like a like smoothie you would get from like a smoothie shop because of like the strawberry, pineapple, and orange. Okay, so it has been a while since I vlogged. Honestly, I don't know what I vlogged today. I feel like I vlogged after my walk but I don't think I vlogged much after that just cause I've had a busy day working and doing stuff. So I did fix some things up here, kind of sneak peek of our kitchen. Go watch part one of our kitchen reno video. It is up now and part two will hopefully be soon. I probably have enough footage, honestly, for a part two. I've been doing a lot of cleaning. The dishwasher's running. I've been watching Alicia Marie Vlogmas. Part of me might be excited for Christmas. I literally love Christmas so much. So I've been watching some Vlogmas videos. Our dining room, I finally cleaned. When I say clean, I mean, I just put everything in this corner rather than having it on the table like it was. And I'm about to wipe down the table and then vacuum. I don't think Ajo has been on a vlog yet. We got him last October and I don't think I've vlogged since then. I didn't even show the dinner we made last night. I did post it on TikTok though. It's the Chipotle chicken pasta video. If you're interested in looking at the recipe for that, I might post it on shorts too, if I remember. But I'm just gonna vacuum and then come back and do whatever. 
Good morning and happy Friday and happy Tate Day. I'm in a good mood today. I have been feeling anxious over the past couple days, not because of today, just other stuff, but I'm feeling good. I'm in a good mood today. It is 10 right now. I gotta go to the post office before they close for lunch and drop off some things. I need to take an Amazon return to a drop off point and then I'm gonna go get some Aquaphor for a DIY I'm doing. So that is what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna pick out my Tate concert outfit when I get home, I think, because I still don't know exactly what I'm wearing. Okay, I am back. For some reason, my camera is being really weird when I film. Hopefully it stops, but I'm making a snack because I'm hungry, it's not quite lunch. I have chocolate rice cakes, and then I'm going to drizzle some of the cookies and cream PB powder on top of it. I wish I had strawberries because I would put some strawberries on it as well. That is so yummy. Okay, it is a little bit later. I filmed a TikTok and then since then I've just been trying to pick out my outfit for the concert. I can decide what I want to wear. This is what I just tried on, just a plain navy tank and some jean shorts. These jean shorts are so short though. They have definitely shrunk. So I need to try on another pair, but I was thinking either with blazers, maybe my Doc Martin sandals. These are also short, but they are not as short and they fit a little bit looser. Definitely comfier. I really need to do my hair so I can see what the hair looks like with the fit. Okay, let me put on the other fit. Okay, this is what I really wanted to wear was like a crop top and then Nike, I mean Adidas shorts because Tate wears like Adidas during the tour. And so I thought it would be cute to do like something like this. Maybe if I tuck this band. Oh wait, that's kind of cute. Wait, okay. I think this is what we're doing. Okay, so now it's like shoes. Should I wear my New Balance or should I wear the blazers? Blazers are so hard to get on. I really don't feel like putting this on right now. All right, so I think this is what I'm wearing. Should this be the fit or should I bring my clear bag or this bag? I decided on the outfit. I'm definitely wearing these shorts with the white. I'm trying to last minute pack, remember everything. I like feel a little bit stressed trying not to though so i'm just gonna wear this down there and then a t-shirt over it oh my gosh why am i feeling so like overwhelmed they have not even left their house yet and they live an hour further out than i do from the venue we're going to raleigh so i really don't need to like start worrying until they're on the way and they haven't left their house yet so right now i'm just going to quickly curl my hair with my blow dryer thing to go ahead and have it like somewhat prepped. Okay, I'm just using this. I just got it from Sally Beauty and it's the best thing I have to like quickly curl my hair, but if I don't like care that much. So I just loosely do this and it falls out immediately in the humidity almost, but it still leaves like a little bit of a wave and I feel like this is the perfect prep for me to then curl my hair. Okay, update, I'm on the way. I'm actually literally like a mile behind them. I thought that I would be ahead of them, but I guess I, just the way I was looking at it with like the GPS, they were actually closer than I thought they were. So I just called them and the GPS is taking us a different way. And I was like, it's telling me in like a mile and a half to get off this exit. Is that what y'all did? And they're like, yeah, we literally just got off that exit. So I was like, oh, I'm literally right here near y'all. So I am about an hour and 22 minutes away. I went a different way than normal because it said there was traffic and then the exit I just got off on, off of is a different way than normal as well. But I will check in in a little bit. have left I'm on my way home I didn't film that much on my camera but I'll insert some clips of the concert that I got on my phone obviously I can't have the music on because it is I'll get copyrighted and so I don't want that to happen I'm in traffic right now so I've got about an hour and 15 minutes left until I'm home I have to pee of course we'll see if I can push through but it was so much fun it was so good to see my friends I get to see them again next weekend thankfully on that note I think I might end the vlog here we'll see if there's anything else exciting 
today but if not thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was entertaining i know it's not the most exciting week in my life vlog but i think i'm going to keep doing these just to kind of show my average life during the week but thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe